everyone, it's Queen of Light 1111 here with a special reading that I wanted to do today. I'm going to do one for the masculine and I'm going to do one for the feminine. And this is um, around this full moon that we're experiencing today in Capricorn, okay, on July 16th. And so what I asked was, what lesson is he going to learn? What is he going to learn about um, through this full moon, okay, and what's going to happen after the full moon? So... The first card out is, um, I'm sorry, the, the bottom of the deck for the lesson is success. He's going to be successful. This is about, I know that there's no greater goal than love, okay? This masculine um, has been following a lot of other things, right, other than love. So perhaps money, career, ambition, uh, maybe feeding his ego, those types of things, okay? So he's going to be successful in learning this lesson and, and what does that have to do with the Nine of Cups, what his wishes are, okay? And then for these clarifiers, we have the crown chakra. So this is the number seven. This is, remember, seven is a number of like a spiritual seeker, okay? It's about um, things like I know, words like I know. So he understands. He's going to come to a full, complete understanding after this moon, okay? And what is he going to understand, this is his card for what is he going to learn through this moon's energy, relationships. He's going to learn that he's attracted to those people who serve his higher good. So remember in my readings yesterday, <clears throat> as he's walking away from third parties, from karmics, um, from things that fed his ego, that were low vibrational, re low vibrational relationships, and that came up in the Akashic. That came up in my messages from the masculine, and it also came up in my reading in that in the in the tarot check-in. So it this is very very consistent. Okay, so in this moon's energy, he is going to uh, because he's in the crown chakra because he's in the I know. Okay, and because he's going to be successful about moving forward in his wishes, he's going to realize that he only wants relationships that match his vibration, okay? Now, what is the energy now of what is he going to, what is he going to be learning? What is he going to be thinking about in, um, his, like, thinking, feeling? is all energy. Like, what is he going to learn through this full moon? So, ten of cups and this um, number six card, material and spiritual prosperity. So, he is going to come to an understanding of, about this energy okay that it is about emotional bliss okay it's about emotional bliss it's about <clears throat> excuse me um love right it's about love and then that success is love success is not money okay and so as he is starting to come into this energy of understanding where he will be um happy Okay, he knows that this is through love, this is through family, and that those things are key, okay? And so when this card comes up, uh, material and spiritual prosperity, to clarify it, this is all about, you know, um, peace and tranquility. It's like when problems are starting to disappear, okay? This is also about, you know, working hard towards his success. Look at this guy, he's just looking out, you know, after off that balcony and is just kind of appreciating everything that's in front of him okay and it's a time of balance and it's a time of harmony in his physical sense and in a spiritual sense and this is about you know showing him about what it is to give and what it is to receive okay and um this is about giving and receiving in love okay giving and receiving in love so that's the first thing that he's going to learn and understand the second thing is this two of wands energy he's going to know that he wants a partnership that he wants his equal match look at how they're the same height right they're the same height okay so remember in the three of pentacles types of energy in that card that i showed in my earlier readings he had to step on a stool to match her knowledge to match her okay and so now there is this successful collaboration the successful partnership and the clarifier to that is the six this this number six card again and this is about victory and success this is like the six of wands energy so this is going to be a successful connection a successful partnership and he sees that now what else does he see the lovers he sees this as a divine connection and it's clarified by foundation and achievements this is like the four of wands energy so through this moon 
you know, this is, I'm going to go over the numbers later, but through this moon, he's going to realize he wants stability. He wants an equal match. He wants to be happy emotionally. He wants a partner that is his match and he wants a successful relationship and he wants to build that in his divine partner. What else is he learning through this moon is he is releasing this heartache, this sadness, this three of swords energy, this third party energy is walking away from that. This is very consistent again with all the readings that I did yesterday. He's walking away from that so that he can have a new beginning. This is like the fool card, getting on a journey, on the journey to now being this, this completely knowing, understanding, masculine who loves himself now. Ace of Cups. He no longer needs third parties. He no longer needs all this money and this attention because his cup is full. He's starting to understand his value. This is also about renewed love, okay? So how did this come, ab come about? Through this energy, rest and rejuvenate. He took a step back, so number four card, took a step back to stabilize himself so that he can then cut himself and his feminine and this connection out of this stuck energy and, and that is clarified by patience and planning. That's like a seven of pentacles type of card, okay? And so when that card comes up in this deck, it's all about, you know, um, they were patient. He was patient. He let go of control. He was able to rest, rest and rejuvenate and assess, reevaluate, reevaluate relationships, reevaluate how he was loving himself, keeping himself trapped, okay? He's in the I know energy of this crown chakra. And so he's very much going to um, start to look at what worked in the past and what didn't work in the past and start to make these new changes from a reflective point of view, okay? So uh, this is really interesting to me because this is all very consistent. And as you guys know, as a reader, these all fly out. So um, I'm going to tell you the numbers here. Six for this material and spiritual prosperity. Six for victory and success, okay? Six for the lovers. This is about harmony, okay? Then we have four and another number four. And this is all about stability. He took a break to stabilize so he can have this new beginning. Then we have a number seven with the patience and planning with the number seven in the crown chakra. He knows because he took the time out to evaluate, okay? Then we have the number 10, which is this completion, him understanding what he wants around this number two card, which is about partnerships, okay? This three card, which is about this co-creation can't happen when there's too many people in, the, in this whole environment. And so ace, number one, he's got to love number one, which is himself, okay? And then this eight, is about cycles and now through this moon the cycle ends and now number nine he can manifest his wish and oh my god look at underneath that queen of swords she taught him the lesson to be the king of cups and who underneath that is the empress oh my god i just can't okay that happened you guys saw it real time i didn't even see that what's under crown chakra positive movement forward under success is that through this challenge he learned so this is what he's gonna learn he's gonna learn that money doesn't come from, uh, that happiness doesn't come from money, that he wants a successful partnership, a stable partnership with his match, and that he needs to release things that hurt him and this connection to embark on this fool's journey with a lightweight, with no baggage. He took time out to love himself, evaluate what he was doing to cut himself and his feminine free of these attachments okay so this is what he's learning in this full moon in capricorn so stay tuned i'm going to do another one for the divine feminine so go ahead and watch that all right talk to you guys soon